a day when the country recorded a new high infections of 400 and 74. This new number is pushing total caseload closer to the 9,000 mark. As Chimtai Goen reports, attention now shifting to counties amid fears that health facilities may be overrun following the influx of hundreds of Kenyans into rural areas after lifting of cessation measures. It's the 9th day of July, and already 2,609 COVID-19 cases have been reported, with the country hitting the new highest infections at 447 from a sample size of 3,803. Nairobi Metropolis remaining the epicenter, with a total of 376, Nakuru with 23, Machakos 18, Mombasa 14, and Wasingishu 7, Busia, Laikipia, Kericho, Makweni, Migori, and Turkana also recording cases. Now that we all know that COVID-19 disease is going to be with us for a while, we need to put pressure on our county governments to prioritize health service delivery and to demand better services. And as the caseload showed up, inching closer to the 9,000 mark at 8,975, the government continues to advocate for home-based care, especially for asymptomatic cases, to ease pressure from the health facilities, which are overwhelmed. The Ministry of Health calling on counties to hasten the process of equipping the isolation facilities with beds and medical staff, in line with the President's directive, only 26 counties have complied so far. County preparedness is critical to not only handling the pandemic, but also in ensuring that our country remains open. Mombasa County, which accounts for the second highest infections at 1,663, was slapped with an order restricting movement after consistently recording an exponential rise in the number of positive cases. 738 people have recovered from the disease and 335 are currently on home-based care. And although the infection cases have been dropping in the recent days, there are fears that the phase reopening may result in a spike as holiday goers troop back to the coastal region. In terms of the intensity of the disease, Mombasa is ahead of the other counties. While 64 patients were discharged after recovering, unfortunately, the virus continued to claim lives as four more deaths were recorded. Chamutai Gwin, Citizen TV. Nairobi. And a correction there. The number of infections recorded today is 447 um, and not 474 as earlier stated.